Hello guys, today we will be discussing about sulfonamides. I uh, will um, give you some mnemonics how to remember sulfonamides. So these are MCQ questions from sulfonamides which have been often asked in any competitive examination from MDS. So most of the questions in NEET are repeated. 60% of the questions you will find that it is repeated somewhere in a twisted manner or whatsoever but most of the questions are repeated in NEET. So let us discuss about sulfonamides like what kind of questions may come or in which type or pattern so that you can get an idea anyways so sort of thing sulfonamides sort of thing sulfonamide is sulfa diazine how are you going to remember this in examination because uh, you have many things to remember there are 23 subjects so you might get mixed up so let's see here you need to focus on the word dia dia which i have written in red color so all your tricks are to be plain with uh, to be um, played with the words so here you can see this is a dia dia so dia is something which do not have which we do not have english word exactly this is uh, originated from india so it, it, it does not have any english word specific english word so dia you can see that the fire is very small when we lit a dia the fires are so small it looks very cute small fire so you can remember this as small short so short acting sulfonamides sulfa diazine whenever you see dia just remember okay it is short acting sulfonamides now we have intermediate acting sulfonamide how are you going to remember this sulfa mid oxazole what do you mean by mid mid sounds like middle so middle we say as mid in a shortcut where we used to say middle as mid so from this you can know that it is a medium acting drug the drug neither too fast neither too long so from this you can remember this now in the long acting sulfonamides you can see sulfa mito pyrazine here also there is mid but remember that here comes the word pyra so pyra sounds like para so you can remember this as paragraph so whenever in exams they ask you to write a paragraph on some specific topic topic you have to write a full paragraph you cannot write it very short so paragraph is something long written sentences okay now sulfa salazine what is the use of sulfa salazine this question is uh, very often this is asked in need or any kind of examinations for mcqs sulfa salazine here focus on the one uh, word first so fast fast go to fast so whenever you are uh, fasting or whenever you are um, restraining from eating food what happened there is a high chance of getting ulcer when you don't eat food when you skip your food time and again and you do not take your food on time especially for uh, yeah obviously for pg residents so obviously if you're working too much day and night you don't get time to eat food on time because you have emergency duties or anything so there is a high chance of getting ulcer so for sulfur salazine just uh, focus on the word fast then fast will come there is high chance of getting ulcer so when you fast obviously there's no food in your body so how is the absorption going to take place obviously no food Poor absorption. So sulfur salazine drug is the most poorly absorbed drug and from this fast you can remember that this is also used for ulcerative colitis. Okay, here you need to remember one thing that sulfur salazine fast, you cannot fast for a long period of time, obviously we are humans. You will either faint or you are either going to die if you will fast for a very long period of time. So in terms of chronic ulcer, remember this, listen to it very carefully, sulfur salazine cannot be used for chronic ulcer for that will come to mnemon uh, mnemonics in the next slide so for sulfa salazine there's high chance of getting ulcer ulcerative colitis and when you are not taking any food in the body how is the absorption going to place uh, take place strongly so most poorly absorbed sulfa salazine in this way you can remember now for silver sulfa diazine here again you can see the dia dia i already told you that small fire that the dia which uh, the indians we the indians during diwali will lit so dia from dia you can remember it as something burnt surfaces dia fire small fire from fire you can remember burnt surfaces so now what happens is that, what happens here is that remember that whenever there is something burnt the color of ashes when it gets burned ultimately it is gray in color so silver is gray in color dia you can remember burnt and from silver, the burnt surfaces become gray. See, color of S is when you search in Google, you can see it is gray in color. So, silver, silver sulfur diazine. 
then chronicles will come in silver sulfur diazide we all know that silver it is a very um, it is a strong it does not uh, get uh, it does not get reacted with oxygen fast so silver it lasts for a very long period of time so it will be chronic for a long period so chronicles will come in terms of silver sulfur diazide now we'll come to sulfur acetamide so what is the use of sulfur acetamide yes this kind of questions will come in your need examination see for example we use for ocular infections which among the following drug is used for ocular infections and they may give you the option so always the answer is near you the only thing is that you might get confused so sulfur acetamide how are you going to remember here focus on the word face i have um, highlighted in red in color so focus on the word face what happened what is the meaning of ocular ocular infections obviously ocular it is related to eyes so where is the eyes present in our body obviously face so sulfur acetamide is used for ocular infections then we have sulfur diazine what are the uses of sulfur diazine so this is a little bit tricky and so i'll just narrate you a story along with this so that you can remember this during examination even in a flick of seconds so for this we have meningitis and toxoplasmosis here in meningitis just remember that meningitis what does it mean this is the tissues that are surrounding the brain and the spinal cord that is inflammation of the tissues so meningitis means inflammation of the meninges so here remove the word it is it is inflammation obviously so let's be positive let's remove the inflammation out of the patient so we are left with meningi so men in g let's make it as men in gar okay so men in gar focus on this so since the fall is quite near let me give you an example um, dia why were the dias lead this dia was a way it was a way to welcome back ram and lakshman since when ram and lakshman were in exile for 14 years of exile it is a mythological a uh, mythological story this uh, recites back to that so when ram and lakshman and sita when they were in exile after 14 years of exile they were welcome back home by the villagers at that time uh, the dias were lit and there were fireworks in celebration with sweets and lights they were welcome back to ayodhya so men in ghar what happens here is that ram and lakshman were back to home and then dia was lit so sulfur dia and dia men in ghar and toxoplasmosis how can you remember obviously in olden times in those time dipavali was celebrated with lights and it was a festival of lights and sweets unlike this days during dipavali this dia instead of lighting dia just instead of just lighting dia what people do they are causing toxicity and plastics with crackers with any kinds of bombs causing pollutions so from toxoplasmosis you can remember that in the modern diwali people are misusing they are causing too much of toxicity and plastics so sulfur diazine you can remember this from a small story you can see the dia being lit and last mefenide this is a topical sulfonamides which is used for pus and pseudomonas usually sulfonamides are not a strong drug to be used for pus and pseudomonas but this mefenamide which is a topical agent they are used for pus and pseudomonas thank you guys for watching my video